It changed some with the reformers, guys like uh, Luther, Calvin, Zingli. You know, that's three in names. I know there's more after that, but but these three basically started the uh, denominational Christianity. They were split up right away, those people. They went to different churches. So uh, right there it tells you they didn't have the truth. If they had the truth, they would have been together. And they would have spoken the truth. They would have become saints. But no, they just took the lies from the New Testament, from the Old Testament, from the Catholic Church. They took all those lies and rearranged the lies made them their own lies. Okay? Now they spoke all new lies that started denominations. And from that point on, we have over 40,000 different Christian denominations. All saying different, little different things from what they gather from the church, I mean the Bible. Everybody who reads that Bible is going to have a little different interpretation. Why is that? Because there were lies in the first place. They're all lies. Sinners. Christianity never produced a saint. So they all remain sinners. They couldn't get to, they couldn't become a saint because they didn't have the gospel. They didn't have any saints preaching the gospel. That's what that whole thing was about the first three hundred years. The gospel. The true gospel was the important thing to get people into the kingdom. From that time on, there hasn't been any. Not one Christian became a sinless saint. Because Christianity, Christians don't believe in becoming sinless. They believe in their Jesus, who is the only one to become sinless. And if it wasn't for Jesus, none of the saints would have been able to be sinless. He came to die for their sins so they could die to sin. Not to keep sinning like Christians do. You see how much the scriptures have been twisted? They actually don't believe they can be sinless. Yet, when I come around preaching that they have to be sinless, then they claim to be sinless. Why? Because of the grace and the blood of God. And the blood of Jesus. The grace of God. Whatever. Whatever excuse they have to pretend they're sinless. They're not sinless. They, have never, they haven't lost one sin. Ever. Not from the time they, they were born sinners. From the time... They uh, became a Christian and all their life until they died. They never lost one sin in their genetic system, in their genetic traits. Because God has to change those. No man can change anything. What they learned to do was hide in fear. Pride. Pride hides the rest of the, the sins. So they can go on living for years. Uh, not showing a sin, not acting on a sin. Yet they're doing it anyway, on the sly, when nobody's looking. A lot of people quit drinking, but do, are they, do they quit drinking? Will they, can they drink again? No. If they do, they'll go right back to drinking. They haven't lost, they haven't got that sin take away. Now I did. I could have probably been drinking ever since I quit, ever since God took away my desire 30 years ago. But I chose not to drink anymore. Why? I don't need to drink anymore. I learned to live with life without drinking. I don't have to prove to anybody that I can or can't drink. Absolutely insane to think that. And I'm not even going to try. Is it because I have fear? No. I have no fear of it. Not at all. I just don't drink. It's just like I don't drink lots of different kinds of juices. You know, there's lots of drinks I don't drink because I don't really like it. I drank before because I, I wanted to get drunk. I didn't like the taste of a lot of liquors and drinks. Or even beer. Beer didn't even taste that a lot good, but I love getting drunk. And I don't need to get drunk today. I don't even want to. So that's what I'm talking about. Uh... The, the Christians have learned to hide their sins and to be religious. They become righteous. The, Jew, the Jesus was talking about the righteous Jews. Well, the, it's because they were religious. They didn't sin anymore. 
their scriptures allowed them to go sinless. But it was the scripture, it was the law and the commandments that condemned their sinful flesh. They couldn't get out of it, and they knew that. That's why they had to become righteous in their own eyes. In their own eyes, not God's, in their own eyes. God knows you're a sinner. God knows every Christian is a sinner. Every single one. Every single sting I shouldn't say every single Christian has been a sinner since they started Christianity. Now one of them has been a sinless saint. Now I came along. I was brought I was brought up in the Lutheran church. And I know that uh, you know, I, I learned a few words. I learned about you know, I didn't know God. I didn't know Jesus. I didn't know anything. Nothing. I just I went because my family took me. Basically, you know, I wasn't I wasn't Jesus. I was a sinner. You know what I like? I like little girls. I like girls from the time I I I lusted after girls from the time I can remember. Oh yeah, I mean I just. I go to Sunday school and church, and oh, the, it was just fun to be around the girls. I just love school and stuff for that reason. Otherwise, I had to be on the farm working. And uh, no, it's it's. I I was a Lutheran, you know, by name only. I was not a believer. I didn't know who God was. I didn't know nothing. I went through catechism. Didn't learn nothing. Said my peace. You know, to to the to whoever uh, the, the God of their skies. You know, that's that's who they look. You know, the God of their skies, and uh, and said my my things in catechism, and but that was it. I even got a Bible. I got a Bible, and bang, bang, bang. You know, that's uh, that Bible. Bible sat for well, 15 more years before I ever opened it up, and so I went. You know, I got confirmed, went to a couple more years of Sunday school, got to be a drunk. I was a young one. 15, 16 years old, I was getting hammered all the time. And that became my God. And I stayed there for 10 years until God came to me in 1979, and that's when he gave me faith. Six days later, I was sober. Four years later... About four, almost five, no, almost close to five, four and a half years later, is when I got involved in Christianity. That's where I started reading the Bible. That's where I got my vocabulary for today. He left me in nine. He left me in Christianity for nine years before he took me out. During that nine years, I got a vocabulary together. I read some stuff, and and from. From what I gathered in, into my memory and stuff, that was okay for God. And then he took me out. Humiliated me out. Then, it's, then he took the, the, another uh, 15 years from that time to get me to be a sinless saint and get my knowledge. And when I started preaching the gospel, that's when he used that knowledge from back in 1993 and earlier when I was a Christian. He didn't need it up until that time. All that stuff I learned in, as a Christian, nothing. It didn't help me a bit in life, but it did help God when I started preaching the gospel. That's what, it, that's what Christianity was all about. I'll stop here.